Okay, so uh, I'm Chen Lei Wu. I'm a faculty member from uh, Scripps Research Institute uh, located in San Diego. Um, today will be the um, second talk about the uh, Biosense API project after yesterday Kevin's uh, Biosense Explorer project. So uh, I'm going to talk about the Biosense SDK. So uh, first about the Biosense, this is probably I don't have to uh, explain to this audience, Biosense basically anything related to biological uh, knowledge. So you know the, like the genes, variants, pathway, disease, all this little uh, unit about the uh, biological knowledge. So um, then uh, in the past, we have built a collection of uh, so-called Biosense API. For example, the mygene.info, myvariant.info, and recently we released this mycan.info. And all of this is about the aggregated annotations about the gene, about the variant, about the drug chemicals, so that you can go to this API and without, uh, without repeat those uh, work so you can focus on the, using those robust API to build your applications. And we, as you may notice, uh, the API is really is a, our uh, first class citizen in the, our whole uh, Biosense project. Um, okay. And it, about the Biosense SDK is really is about not just we build the API, we also want to help you to build the API to uh, like supporting any specific biosings entity you like in your uh, in your project, and this is basically the overview of our biosings SDK. As you can see in this center box, uh, we have a mainly like the three component. First is the data hub, make sure to keep the data up to date. And the second is the like web API, this is really the exposing the web API to the end user. And the third part is the really make it like a deployed to cloud and make it a robust and a high performance. So all the, the pink, pink box is really like something a user need to do. And you really need to like do the uh, writing actual parser for the specific uh, uh, data resources. And as it, we also have a way for you to uh, customize the query you like in your specific queries. Yeah. Okay. Here I just want to focus on the two simple uh, scenarios uh, of where you can benefit from the Biosense SDK project. First one is, that, for example, are you, you have a data file, and now you want to just make it an API so that other people can use it or you can use it in your own uh, applications. So now you start with uh, like your data file, and uh, first, of course, you will need to write a parser and convert to a JSON format and however you like to uh, uh, structure your uh, JSON object. Then after that, then the Biosense SDK will take, take, the, um, take the, your parser and we have a uh, tool called Inspector to describe the, inspect your data object and it pr uh, produce that data schema for you and that will help you to do the index. And we, here we use an uh, elastic search for the index. And now after that, and uh, you pretty much uh, ready to serve the API and your API is, uh, can be live using the Biosense SDK. When I say the ready to serve, that little blue box is just means this a couple of lines of code. And first you have a, Biosense uh, admin, and you just do one line, you created the project folder for your API uh, code. And if you know the Django, you probably find like this is a little bit of similar to the, how you set up the Django application. And then now you can just uh, uh, install all the requirements and uh, you have one line to start the API. And then now your API is live. You can start to work on the uh, API. Um, Okay, if you like to uh, see the full tutorial for this, and we actually have a link on the bottom. And then our second one is a little bit uh, more complicated because you now you, maybe you have to aggregate the resources from source one and source two, and now uh, you still need to write all these parsers. And, uh, and then um, still we, we have a tool called like a basic component called uh, dumpers. It will monitor all the resources you have and uh, trigger the parser when there's uh, new resources available. So that will take care of that. And then we also use MongoDB as a staging, uh, staging storage and uh, before send it to the Elasticsearch. Then everything else is the same. Okay, and uh, we also uh, here just uh, have all the useful links and for you to get started. And we actually uh, just released the Biosense SDK before the BOSC and we have the first uh, uh, 0 0.1 version uh, released. You can just install the pip uh, from using the pip install Biosense. And another benefit is you actually have, uh, come with uh, like a universal Python client if you have built uh, like a Biosense API. And we also have the reference implementation. You can 
check out. And here's uh, our um, great Biosynth team. And we have a poster uh, a, um, here you can check out. And also you, uh, we are recruiting the developers. And it's a really like only requirement for, the, for this position is really your ability to focus on the uh, coding while you sit next to the ocean and the golf course. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Thank you.